Birds of Prey, the latest DC film has come out. I was lucky enough to attend the world premiere, got to meet the cast, Margot Robbie, the director Kathy Yan, and the list goes on. It was absolutely amazing. And obviously I got to watch the film, so this is my review for Birds of Prey. So, directed by Kathy Yan, as I said, starring Margot Robbie, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Ewan McGregor, and a lot more. Obviously you got the whole Birds of Prey. This film is definitely one of the best DC films. I don't think it's the very top. I think it's just below, say, Aquaman and Shazam, which are around the same level for me. Wonder Woman's still my favorite DCEU film, but Birds of Prey is really impressive. And I think it's a lot down to the style and, you know, how stylized, you know, the whole ride is, because it's really a ride. It's this grand piece of entertainment that honestly never gets boring it's always entertaining but also it's a really well made film it's really well done and within the style there is this color palette and the color palette is ever changing but it's always interesting and always vibrant so the cinematography and the pairing with the direction is really really impressive and you know you've got all of that but obviously the big thing lots of people are going to talk about is Margot Robbie and the cast they're all fantastic Robbie is on top form Harley was the most likable thing about Suicide Squad and now she is, you know, up there with some of my favourites because I think this film really gets to who Harley Quinn is, you know, the quirky nature, how lovable she is and quite honestly how brutal and how kind of unrelenting she is because you never really got that sense in Suicide Squad and so Birds of Prey fashions a proper Harley Quinn and Margot Robbie is just fantastic. I think, you know, it's one of her better roles. Obviously, she's done some of the best work in recent years with The Wolf of Wall Street, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Night Tonya. This is up there. This is very, very impressive work. And so it's very well made. You can see, scene to scene, there is a plan. Nothing seems to be chalked up to, you know, in post-production because something has not been directed and staged well enough that they need to put in loads of shots where they just cut between just to fill up time and fill up the space so the continuity can work and that's a problem with a lot of big blockbusters obviously Suicide Squad fell into that pit hole but Birds of Prey doesn't and I think that's down to Kathy Yan and her direction it's well directed and there is obviously a vision and this vision I believe has actually been sort of matched at a few points in the film I was a little bit sort of took off guard by some of the choices, by the use of this early scene in the club and there's a few scenes which reference Marilyn Monroe where you see the experimental use of frame rates and speeding up of time and stuff. I wasn't expecting that and I don't think it works completely well that bit and I think there is a missed opportunity with this sort of Marilyn Monroe section where she's thinking in her head what she could do. I think that potentially it could have been absolutely beautiful like if you see in the trailer when it cuts to her in that red room scene it's visually absolutely gorgeous when it's just that cut but I think there is a few problems in the editing with you know some choices obviously they're stylistic choices some people would love those but there was just a few things like that that didn't completely work for me and there was a little bit of a letdown in regards to that but to be honest I don't have much complaints about the film and now let's move on to talk about the villains so we have Ewan McGregor as Black Mask he is absolutely fantastic he's quirky like Harley Quinn he's very lovable like Harley Quinn but at the same time like Harley Quinn he is also detestable and I really think that Ewan gives a fantastic performance I think he's one of the best DC villains that we've seen. I think he is potentially the best one from the DCEU. I think that's up to debate, but you know, he's definitely up there. And so I would happily watch days on end of Ewan McGregor as Black Mask. And so in regards to the actual Birds of Prey, we have Huntress, we have Black Canary. Those two are my favorites, obviously barring Harley Quinn because that's everyone's favorite, right? But I was really impressed by Huntress and Black Canary specifically. Potentially, I did want a little bit more of the Birds of Prey because, you know, the team up comes very close to the end. It's great when they do. Black Canary only uses her cry once and I feel like maybe they should have extended it or had a bit more time with the Birds of Prey. But that's not such a big deal because I think the lead up to it is absolutely fantastic with, you know, the main focus being on Harley and then occasionally seeing these other characters. But then 
really it does work so there's no real complaint here but yeah so Birds of Prey is fantastic I really liked it I think it's very stylish and just a well oiled piece of entertainment that really works and is very very good so thank you guys for watching this video I will have some other videos out on Birds of Prey in the next coming days as people start to see the film so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys later goodbye I see.